What's up guys? I just got my Amazon Basics bench in. This thing's been sold out for forever. Finally came in stock, so I just went ahead and bought it. It's only fifty dollars. I always wanted to check it out, see what it's all about. Usually fifty dollar benches are uh I can't say that they're bad. I had the like Marcy bench that was like forty dollars before. Honestly it worked pretty well. But we're just gonna go through the installation of this bench today. I'm gonna use just the tools that they provided and we're gonna see how long it takes. So, let's grab some scissors and now we get the thing going. I can't imagine life without Amazon Prime. So we have the frame right here. Um, the finish isn't honestly that bad. It's painted on, but it's not terrible. little caps kind of come off pretty easily so I bought this as a lightweight bench to use for some of the smaller athletes at the gym obviously when I mention I'm not going to use this uh, I think the weight tolerance in total is about 400 pounds and uh, yeah you can kind of add that up I weigh 175 pounds if I'm benching like 250 almost there or like 300 pounds my max that's pretty much there there's a little instruction booklet on how to put it all together I'm not gonna use that because I can probably figure it out here are the feet which are actually pretty sturdy for what it's worth and then you've got the rubber uh, padding for the ground oh shit and then here's the pad So, I'm going to lay that down, I'm going to lay this down, on top of that, and then, these are probably going to be the nuts for this. So far, so good. Everything's going in pretty easily. All right, let's put the feet on. Right, this one's kind of, this one fits a little janky. This little hinge right here is bent, and it's bent downwards. Oh, that's it. I'm done. Okay, just one little snap view. It's a little bit annoying. There we have it. That's the bench. Pretty good. Pretty sturdy. Spear. No cock shot. Um, the pad's a little soft, but you know, for lighter members or lighter athletes it should be fine. So let's take a look around. So here's the base. Kind of see the flanges. So I think it was on the other side where the flange was bent. Here's the pad. Here is the other flange. Which one is bent? Yeah, we have the other one this one. No, I think it's this one. This side. This side is not bent. Alright. And right. Yeah, this side is a little bent up. You can see, so that made putting this part on a little pain in the ass because it's there's not a whole lot of thread when you put the nut on. But otherwise, everything went pretty according to plan at Amazon Basics. 50 bucks, let me put this down and I'm gonna pull out my Rogue. You can see the Rogue is far sturdier. The pad is much more dense. It's about the same width though, as far as the pad goes. 
Rogue is also longer. Rogue is sturdy as all hell. It weighs, you know, like 70 pounds, 60 pounds. It weighs a lot. And then the Amazon pad weighs, or Amazon bench weighs probably about 40 pounds in comparison. But if we're talking about like price um, and value, you know, the Rogue costs like $200. Um, and then the Amazon one costs $50. So you really have to weigh out if how much you're gonna be benching. If you're gonna be benching a lot, spend a little bit of money on a nice bench. If you're not really gonna be benching all that much, you don't bench very heavy weight, the Amazon one will be fine for you. And then if you also wanted to use it for like mobility and like split squats and stuff like that, and I'm sure the Amazon one will just be fine. But yeah, that's it. Um, Amazon bench is still sold out after I bought this sold out again I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out but yeah that's that and I'll probably do like a little mini review on it a little bit later but not much to say about it take it easy guys